Good evening, good evening, good evening. This is Tamiko. This is Tamiko again. It is Tamiko, the social worker. And I am just coming to check. I'm coming to check in. Listen, 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 listen. I just wanted to talk about a topic. Yeah, it um, is getting close to the end of the year. And as it get close to the end of the year, uh, you know, some people get tired. I actually wanted to talk about leadership. Wanted to talk about leaders. Wanted to talk about leaders. I believe that um, most of us, or we all, have some uh, leadership. We all are leaders in some way. Rather, uh, you know, you hold a position uh, at your job. Rather, you hold a position in school. Um, rather. You're taking care of a child, you're taking care of a niece or a loved one, you adopted someone. We all have leadership. You are over a congregation. Um, we all have uh, some type of uh, leadership. And leadership is not easy. <laughs> leadership is not easy. Um, we don't have all of the answers. We don't have all. It is not one size fit all leadership is not one size um fit all um however however we do have people that look up to us we do have people that um, we are responsible for we do have people um that come to us for answers or for directions or for instructions and um so i just wanted to talk about um leadership and um, there have been, you know, a lot of messages for um, leaders to um, sit down and things like that. And and uh, no one have did any message for um, leaders to continue standing. <laughs> yeah, no one have did any messages um, for leaders to um, continue standing. And one thing, um, before I even go into that, um, leaders you know they provide you know some type of hope they provide uh some type of hope i personally have gotten phone calls um people have told me that uh you know my videos have helped them and and i'm i'm grateful it is it is really really um it's really not me uh that's you know it's really not it's it's really not it's really not um, me is sometimes the drive um, in me. Sometimes it's the thoughts of the other people uh, that I think about. And sometimes it's just the society um, by itself. And, you know, from society, you know, I try to come up with uh, certain topics that I am led to do. I said, and I discuss it, and and some topics are, you know, it'll speak to somebody right on point, and other topics are for other people, and some might not be, and you know, so leadership is, um, you know, it's it's not one size fit all for leadership, but um, those who are in leadership, it's not, it's not, it is not something that is easy but it is something that um we must do something that uh we are called um you know that we are called to do you know it, it can be a calling it can be uh, something that's a, a drive um for you for you you know it's something um, that you must do it is something that uh, bothers you and it won't let you sleep. <laughs> it, won't, it won't allow you to sleep. It won't allow you to sleep. And so it's something that we must do. It's something that we must do, right? And um, the things that leaders sometimes produce, it, it helps people. It gives people hope. It gives people hope and 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 it provides people with faith and i think that we all um practice uh some type of faith we all practice faith and and basically faith are things that 
um, haven't manifested, but we hope for it. So we hope for things that we we didn't come to pass yet, basically. We don't see it, we don't feel it. It hasn't manifested, it hasn't come to pass, but we continue, continue that it believe that it will happen. And I believe that we all practice uh, faith. I just, I believe that we all practice faith. But ask me how, yeah, ask me how, I know. How? Like, I don't practice faith. I'm here somebody that, no, nah, I don't practice no faith. Okay, well, um, so let's just say if you go into the store, if you go into the store and you're like, listen, hey, I'll be right back. I'll be right back in 10 minutes. I'm just going to run across the street and get some bread or something like that. I'm going to go to the store and I'll be right back. No one really knows that you're really going to be right back, you know, but because you're practicing the faith that I believe that I'm going to go to the store, everything's going to be well, and I'm going to be able to be back in my home safely. And so that is some type of faith. That is some, that is faith. You really really believing that you're really going to come home and you're going to be right back you're taking a short drive hey i'll be right back i'm taking a short drive i forgot something um i got to pick up something real quick so i'm going to drive you know and get this before it's too late you know before it's too late i forgot this you know i need this for my attire and i'm going to pick it up real quick yeah keep the dinner warm keep the dinner warm I'm just going to pick it up real quick and I'll come back, right? So, so uh, yeah, so that is practicing some type of faith. Basically, you are believing that once you get to your destination safely and that you are coming, returning back um, home or to your destination, that is faith, basically. It is providing, we are believing that something is going to happen, although it didn't happen yet, right? And so that's faith. Faith, right, gives us hope, right? Faith gives us hope. And that's what sometimes leadership does. It provides hope uh, to someone. And, and how do we gain hope is that we hear it from our leaders. We hear it from our leaders. And then we apply what our leaders say and we apply it to our lives. And then we go in our life and, and we continue to believing. And so it's just been certain, it's just been a lot of messages, some messages that asking um, certain believers to um, have a seat and, you know, to sit down. And I'm not here to say, yep, somebody should sit down. I'm not here to say that they should not sit down. I am not here to protect anyone. I'm not here to protect the person. I am here to protect the practice, the practice of exercising our faith, the practice of being free to exercise our belief. Yeah, our belief system. I am here to advocate for the practice, to protect the practice, but I am not protecting anyone. And so and I'm just saying that if our leaders, um, a lot of our leaders sit down then um we're just asking for leaders also to stand up <laughs> you know what i'm saying and that's why i'm putting leaders with an s and so um as leaders uh like get tired they get tired you know and some people um you know they're at the point where this is not cutting it you know, and I'm tired and I'm ready to, you know, stop and I'm ready to stop and I'm, I'm ready to quit. And then I'm just encouraging all leaders to uh, continue standing. Le leaders, we need you. We need you. We need you. And like I said, I'm not talking about any particular leader. I'm talking about leaders, uh, in general leaders. And so we are calling on the leaders to stand, to stand. We're not saying, uh, we're not saying to not take a break. We're not saying um, to not pause. Or were we saying that once you get through, uh, you know, pausing, uh, <laughs> come on back and Come on back and leave. Come on um, back and leave. Come on back and leave. You know, nothing um, is easy. And this is why 
um, joining together is very important and this is why building a community is very very important and I hear it a lot how um, people they're building community I love it I love building a community I'll talk about it more uh, later on but I love it I love uh, building um, community yep I love it listen no one is perfect um, we all probably going to get on each other's nerves doesn't mean that just because we get on each other's nerves that uh, we start detaching ourselves uh, from one another. Yeah, it doesn't mean that we start detaching ourselves from one another. And so um, I'm just going to make this real quick. I'm not, you know, staying too long, but. I just wanted to tell the leaders to continue standing, take your break, take your pause, but um, I can't stop, don't stop. I know there's a time for everything and there's a time where um, you will finish, uh, you know, your course, but if you're not finished, then take your course. And while that leader is on pause, while that leader I know I want to say poise, but while that leader is on pause or refreshing uh, themselves, then this, then it should be a line um, of leaders. It should everything should not fall on one person um, because then it really, really starts to break down. If you have everything, I'm only on one um, person, one person, and so we are asking for a line of leaders. We're asking for uh, many leaders, many leaders, right? So one person, um, forget about won't get burned out. There are some that's already, <laughs> there are some that's already burnt out. And so, uh, come on, teacher. <laughs> Let me talk to the teachers. Let me talk to uh, the teachers, the teachers that's working with um, minimal, minimal things, um, minimal supplies, um, minimal assistance, minimal help, you know, and you have a big class and you can't, it, this one you, it's, it's kind of hard to, um, you know, manage that, the class and you need assistance and you know, a lot of things are on you and you're burnt out. You're, you're not even um, close to burnout. You are already burnt out. You are feeling like, <laughs> like you're going to change careers. I'm talking about the teachers that, that want to feel like, hey, you want to change careers. You want to um, change careers like this is it. So there's nothing wrong. Um, with changing your career uh, we just want to know our reasons <laughs> you know just think about reasons like what is making you change uh, your career what's making you change your career you know and so uh, just think about that but I wanted to talk to the leaders uh, the leaders that feels like it's not worth it the leaders is not we don't do things, we don't lead, we don't do certain tasks unto um, people. We don't do it because then if we wait for the hooray um, for people, if we work, wait for the accolades, it's nice though, it's really nice to hear, um, but if we really wait for the cheers of people, C-H-E-E-R-S, if we wait for the cheers um, of people, then uh, we are really, really sometimes like to get disappointed. I just wanted to say to the leaders to uh, continue standing. We have a couple of months into the year, and so we are all going to push through uh, to the year. We are, then I'm asking the leaders to stand because if we don't you know, gain hope from our leaders, then um, usually people seek hope in something else. They seek answers and something else and it's usually something that will probably hmm, probably kind of destroy our lives little by little kind of destroy our lives um because we get in we rush into 
uh, relationships. You rush into into using substances, um, you know, and then we find answers through other ways, and and there's other ways sometimes that could uh, kind of destroy um, our lives. And so this is why we're saying that we need leaders within us to keep stand but then when that leader does take their break that there's someone else to continue the work i am not the only um social worker that's doing this i am not the only social i have hopefully put something out there in my videos that you can take with you uh there's something that you can take what i want you to do i want you to apply if if anything that i said in any video i want you to apply it apply it uh to your life or if you know it can help somebody um share the video with somebody you know share the message and and make it a broader have a broader conversation on whatever what was said all right so that's all i wanted to say i wanted to say for the leaders to uh, continue to stand we i needed to make this a video this video could not go into next year i needed to make this video progress leaders to continue standing we need you to supply the message that's it right and then when we hear the message and then it also it helps us to build our hope Sometimes we need that extra boost, and when we hear that particular message, it gives us that extra boost where we can continue and to go on. All right, so I am done. I am done. I did not really, really want to do all the theatrical things. We want your attention. I just really wanted to get your attention, and um, I am going to go. I'm going to go. We are <laughs> going to talk soon. We are going to talk soon. We are just winding down. Like I said, it is the ending of the year, so we slowing it, slowing things just a little bit down. We're going to slow it down, but we will talk real soon. We will talk real soon. All right, leaders. I'm talking to all of the leaders. I'm talking to the school, <laughs> the the children, the students. I'm talking to the students. I'm talking to religious leaders, um, as well. I'm talking to the parents. I'm talking, I'm talking to, to service workers. I'm talking to doctors, and I'm not, I'm even talking to clerk. <laughs> I'm talking to clerks. I don't want to name every. Um, position, but if you are in some type of leadership role, and I believe we all are leaders, we all are leaders, um, I am asking you to continue, right? Leaders will, leaders, please, leaders, will you continue standing? Will you continue? All right, we'll talk soon and we'll talk again. Have a great week. Have a great week. Okay, and until then, remember, don't forget, this is how we take care of ourselves. Don't forget to take care of yourself and don't forget to take care of each other. And before I go, before I go, no, you got references. Okay. Don't forget, don't forget, do not forget to go back on your references. Do not forget to go back on your references. And one last thing, really, this is one last thing before I go. Know that you are loved. Know that you you matter and know that you belong here okay and i want to leave y'all with that know that you are loved l-o-v-e-d you are loved know that you are loved know that you matter and know that you belong here and how do you know that i'm loving you some of you feels like that nobody loved you listen I love you. Nah, I don't have to know you. I know you. I, I can love you. You know why? Because I met, I knew somebody who first loved me before I even loved myself. And, also, and sometimes when somebody can love you beyond your faults and, and somebody can love you beyond your faults and see your needs and still love you, that is the type of love that I want. And so just know if you feel that no one loves you, Tariko loves you. And how much do I love you? Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. That's it. Some people call it agape love. I call it eternity love. I love you forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And so don't forget that. I love you forever, ever, ever, ever. 
and never. Okay? So remember, you are love. Know that you matter and know that <laughs> you belong here. You belong here. You belong here. We'll talk some more. We'll talk some more. Until then, take care. Talk soon.